Welcome to Coach's Corner Monday edition. Join me every Saturday, 10 o'clock Central, 11 Eastern time for Coach's Corner show. Saturday show, we have in-depth interviews, um, and we will replay the show Tuesday, 8 o'clock Central. Mondays and Wednesdays, we feature segments called the Coach Trips Tips and the Bear Facts. Here we'll find insightful tips on how to be a great coach. After playing for George O'Leary and Paul Bear Bryant, I became intrigued with what makes great coaches tick. So this is Wednesday and Monday nights, Thursday nights and Fridays. Look for local sports here in Pensacola area. You can catch my show on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Search Paul Tripoli Coaches Corner. I hope that you enjoyed today's segment. It's called Game Film Study. If you know a coach then that watches game film with his players, please listen to this. I hope you enjoy when you're watching film with your players, especially for the first time of the year, it is important to talk about criticism. Let them know they should not take this personal. The sole purpose of these sessions is to make them a better player. Players look forward to watching film, especially after a win. But there has never been a perfect game ever played. When they play well, you praise them. When they play poorly, you have to critique them. They have to learn to be mature. A mature person profits from criticism. The great Vince Lombardi said, quote, a great sign of immaturity is to become angry or hurt at the slightest criticism from others, unquote. Now, by watching film, players learn how to do it correctly from good plays, and they learn how they do it, uh, how not to do it from the bad plays. They each get a grade for every play. They either get a plus or a minus, a pass-fail grade. The grade is based on 8 to 12 actions they make on every single play. Basically, if they end up in the right spot at the right time, they get a plus. But that requires that their technique being good enough in a majority of those actions to warrant a plus. Now, here's an example of those actions and what it takes to get a plus or a minus on any, any given football play. Number one, if they don't hustle, no matter how well their reads are or techniques, the techniques are, they get a minus. Most of our players learn that pretty quickly. If they don't, they sit the bench. The actions or movements and reads are different for every position on the field. So I coach defensive backs, and I start out every play looking for their disguise and alignment. Are they disguising the coverage and moving to the correct alignment at the correct time? Disguising is just showing up in one coverage and playing another coverage, if that's play that is called from the sidelines. I'm looking at the timing of the move and where they end up right before the snap of the ball. Everybody has to be lined up correctly on the snap. And I'm looking for each player's stance. I'm looking for their run-pass read, their eyes in their first step on the snap. If they misread that first step, it's called a false step. Then I look at their back pedal, their body position, and where they're looking, their eyes. I played golf a few months ago with the great Joe Cribbs, a running back for Auburn, and we talked about how important vision and eye are. Okay. Now I look for a disguise, alignment, timing, stance, eye position in the first snap all before the play even develops. That these six pass fail grades are even are, are determined before the ball's even snapped. I look at the break and I look at the movement of the on the running back or wide receiver. Is the DB's position vertically and horizontally correct? I look at his angle, his body, his eye position. If his technique is good enough in the majority of these 12 movements, the result is a positive. He gets a plus. I learned how to watch film in Alabama and in the professional ranks. The college and pro coaches are very detailed. This is this very subject was recently talked about in Sports Illustrated. See, recently, it was a few years ago. Coach Mike Krzyzewski of Duke was on the cover, and it was titled The Education of Jabari Parker. In this exchange, comes from Coach K and Parker watching film together. Quote, look at your feet. They're in the wrong position. Parker nodded. Coach K stood and demonstrated the correct stance. Moments later, Coach stops the tape again and says, look at your hands. You're not ready. Parker replies in a mature manner by saying, I got to change that. 
A mature person doesn't get angry or hurt by criticism. Parker is accepting the comment, therefore profiting from Coach K's criticism. In the next sequence of plays, Coach K tells Parker his hips are pointing in the wrong direction. Coach K says this is about precision and doing physical things that create better habits. He said, I coached LeBron, Kobe, Durant in the summer, and they are precise. After an hour of watching film, Parker said, I never realized I looked that bad. Coach K leaned in closer to Parker and said, it's not personal. It's the truth. Well, I was interested in this sequence because it struck a familiar chord with me and how I coach and it affirmed in my coaching protocols because I was doing exactly what Coach K was doing. And if it's good enough for him, it's surely good enough for me. Also, Coach K was doing what teaching a form of discipline when he said, quote, doing physical things to create better habits, unquote. What he's talking about in this quote is the goal is to create a correct habit that can be produced and reproduced instinctively under great pressure, unquote. Now, that is a quote Coach K probably got from John Wooden because the two statements sound almost exactly the same. That quote from the book Wooden, A Lifetime of Observations and Reflections on and off the court from John Wooden and Steve Jamison. There are two other important categories that are studied in film sessions. One is the opponent's player's movements, how they line up, how they come off the ball, how they run their routes, how they react to the ball, where do they turn when they catch the ball, all these things. And also number two is the offensive tendencies which play are they likely to run in a multitude of situations? The tendencies are all based situation. It's all situational football. For example, third and long is a high percentage play for a pass, but it goes much deeper than that. Some teams have hash mark tendencies. Some have red zone tendencies. A lot of teams like to take a shot and go deep after a change of possession. Well, as a coach, it's your responsibility to make sure your kids know the possibility every time your offense turns the ball over. You yell at them, you tell them, watch the shot, take it deep, go for the deep ball right here, and they can take advantage of that situation and go intercept the ball. Now, we predict an upcoming play based on percentages coaches do, okay? That is what makes football so exciting, the anticipation. I'll quote Vince Lombardi once again because he summed it up best when he said, you know why football is so popular? Guys running around hitting each other? Hell no, that's not why. It's because of the huddle. Every time the whistle blows to end a play, the huddle forms and fans put themselves in that situation and they're trying to figure out what play is going to come next. Football is as much situation as action. We predict upcoming plays. Um, oh, that's okay. That, that wraps up another coach, another edition of Coach Trips Tips. And now it's time for Bible Verse of the Week brought to you by the Siler Agency. This comes from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attain wise counsels, unquote. You know, it's astounding to me that there is wise advice in the Bible on every subject of coaching and every aspect of life. We talked about accepting criticism today, and it is true that we are defeated and know it if we meet any human being from whom we found ourselves unable to learn anything. All right, so that wraps up today. Monday, Coach Trips Tips Game Film Study. I hope you got something out of that. Um, don't forget, we got commercials coming up to pay for this. Um, also, one of my longtime sponsors, David Valletto of Beck Partners. For all your commercial needs, go see David. I met David 40 years ago as a teammate and football player at Alabama, and I could count on him always to have my back on the field. You can count on David to have your best interest in real estate. Call David uh, Beck Partners today. Um, don't forget, Wednesday, we're going to have a session of the Bear Facts, coaching the details. How did Coach Brian coach the details? That's coming up Wednesday. Um, have a great 
night, everybody. We'll see you on Wednesday. There's a reason why Hill Kelly in Pensacola is the number one selling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer between Jacksonville and New Orleans. While other dealers have taken advantage of a competitive market with higher prices, Hill Kelly Kelly has discounted prices to the lowest of the year. And Hill Kelly in Pensacola will surprise you with excessive charges beyond the selling price. Come see why people from Milton, Pace, Foley, Bay Manette, Daphne, Gulf Shores, Mobile, and beyond are driving to Hill Kelly in Pensacola to buy their next new Chrysler. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram. At Hill Kelly, the bottom line price and your satisfaction are what really matter. So before you sign, check the bottom line and make the trip to Hill Kelly in Pensacola to see what true local ownership can do for you. At Hill Kelly, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Highway 29 in Car City, Pensacola. Or shop online 24-7 at hillkellydodge.com. When it comes to bottom line pricing, nobody beats a Hill Kelly deal. Nobody. My name is Steve Reynolds. I'm the manager and owner of Cordova Lanes, and we help keep your mind out of the gutter. Cordova Lanes is part of the community of Pensacola. Being here for 43 years, we've entertained more people than any other bowling center in the city. We sell fun for a living. Cordova Lanes is located at 2111 Airport Boulevard in Pensacola behind Cordova Mall. Come on out and see us at Cordova Lanes Bowling Center. Thank you. Herbitrium Consulting for all your fencing, landscaping, pressure washing, tree trimming needs. Call 850-483-0350 for your free estimates. Serving Pensacola, Gulf Breeze, Navarre, Fort Walton, Destin, Perdido, Gulf Shores, Foley, and the entire Gulf Coast. Herbitrium Consulting is owner-operated, fully licensed and insured. Call today, 850-483-0350, the official landscaper of Coach's Corner. Given the choice, we'd choose new over old anytime. Snap our fingers and undo years of wear and tear that every home endures. Thankfully, First Choice Home Improvement turns ugly into unugly almost overnight. First rate materials, low prices, the transformation is unbelievable. First Choice Home Improvements, your unofficial headquarters for turning ugly into unugly. Call them today, 476 8887. Online at firstchoicehomeimprovements.com. Your first choice is the best choice, so make your choice First Choice. 75 years of service and high tech today. It's Pensacola Glass Company at 433-8348. High tech is a term often applied to advanced services and products in today's marketplace. And today, glass is much more than a simple pane of brittle, see-through stuff we hit baseballs through when we were kids. Glass is now a product with unique flexibility in both performance and application. And Pensacola Glass Company is growing right along. That's Pensacola Glass Company at 433-8348.